In the heart of the American West lies a marvel of engineering, the Glen Canyon Dam. Its tiring walls created Lake Powell, a reservoir designed to endure water supply for the lower Colorado River Basin states in Mexico. For six decades, it's been both a vital water source and a recreation destination for millions. Today though, Lake Powell faces challenges beyond its original design. Unanticipated issues like sediment buildup and declining river flows are revealing cracks in the dam's legacy. Sediment, the very material that colors the Colorado, its iconic red, has become a double-edged sword. Historic droughts have exposed thick mud layers where water once flowed, reducing Lake Powell's capacity by nearly 7%. Experts estimate that each day, the equivalent of 30,000 dump truck loads of silt enter the lake, clogging channels and threatening to return the reservoir into a basin of mud. My name is Emma Pitts and I am a writer with Deseret News. For the past couple of days, I have been rafting from Moab all the way down to Lake Powell. To put it lightly, it has been a wild ride. Today we are about to go and experience some returned rapids. So rapids that we have not seen in their full capacity for many, many years. We're just hoping to stay in the boat today. So we are about to run Gypsum Canyon Rapid and it's fully returned, maybe slightly to improve mode. Um, everybody's a little nervous. Some people, it's the first time they've seen it completely returned. River guides, scientists, and conservationists have seen firsthand the Colorado sediment stain transformation and were there with me as I experienced it for the first time. For many, it's not just a river. It's a lifeline that sustains over 40 million Americans and vast agricultural fields. Yet, the Colorado's precious sediment is now trapped, depriving downstream areas like beaches and Grand Canyon National Park of their natural replenishment. Some call for drastic measures, introducing sediment management systems, perhaps by redesigning the dam to allow sediment flow, like China's Three Gorges Dam. Others propose regular dredging or even removing the dam entirely, restoring the river to its natural state and consolidating water storage at Lake Mead. Still, many experts caution that returning to pre-dam conditions isn't feasible. As policymakers debate the future of Lake Powell, the clock is ticking. Without a sediment management plan, Lake Powell's days as a reservoir are numbered. New water management guidelines are in the works, expected by 2026. These will dictate how much water flows from Lake Powell to Lake Mead, reflecting an acknowledgement that the river we depend on today is different from the one imagined a century ago. It's time for all of us to consider the river's future, not just for today, but for generations to come.